Hello, remember me? My name's Damien, GHL Damien, and I, many months ago, used to make hobby vlogs and put them on this channel. It has been forever since my last one. It has been five and a half months, I believe, since my last published hobby vlog, which was uh, showing off some new toys, some good and the bads, I think, and a work in progress of Megalith. Now, the reason I haven't done a hobby vlog in a very long time um, isn't because I just haven't been doing them, it's because I haven't done any hobby in a very long time. Um, off, the last one was in the like, middle of February, and my last completed model was Gandalf the Grey on foot, which was painted for issue 3 of SPG magazine. And then basically for two months after that, um, we were, me and Tom were concentrating on doing the next issue of the magazine, so that took up all our time. And then as soon as it launched, all my time was taken up by then posting them out. And as soon as that finished, um, I went through an incredibly um, busy period at work, a really stressful um, time at work. Um, so it just meant that I, I haven't done any models. It's really depressing because uh, anyone who's following my hobby vlogs will know that I had quite an optimistic start to the year and had my big plan for 2016 of everything I was going to get done. And sadly, um, as sometimes happens, um, life just uh, gets in the way, which is um, kind of sad and depressing. But yeah, for, the, for five months, over five months I think it was in total, I didn't paint a single model and I haven't had anything finished, which was um, quite a shame for me. Was, um it's a bit, it's a bit strange. Obviously, we we went off uh, with the plan tour for a while as well, like where we were both, me and Tom were just really stressed at work, and um, obviously got back into this hobby to play games and paint models, and I don't seem to do either of those things now, which is incredibly bizarre. I seem to, you know, we we do the the videos for the channel talking about the models, and we make the magazine, which is you know writing about the models and stuff, but I don't see the eight hour play games at tournaments and stuff. I don't seem to have any casual games and. I haven't been able to do any painting, which is really um, a bit sad, really. Um, but hey ho, it's the it's the way of the world sometimes. But um, as the summer's rolled around, um, I've had uh, a bit more free time, um, so I've been delighted to pick up the brushes again. So I'm back with a hobby vlog um, this week, showing you uh, the things I've been painting recently and finishing off um, Megalus um, to begin with, um, which all, all told has taken me six months I suppose or something like that and a few other models as well so what I'm now going to do is um, move over to the desk and um, show you uh, what I've been working on hope you enjoy that and hopefully this will be the start of some um, more regular um, hobby vlogs for me for at least the next couple of months I know for an absolute fact I'll have a hobby vlog next week because I know what I'm going to I know what I'm going to be doing I know what my next project is um, and I will have some time to be working on that uh, between this video and the next one so I'm quite excited about that so um, I'll show you these things that I've been kind of finishing off um, in this video and then as of next video I'll be starting a whole bunch of new projects that will hopefully be getting me through until September the 16th and 17th so you can have a uh, think about that over the next week about what those things might be for but um, I'm going to jump over to the uh, desk now and show you what I've been working on. So first up here is Megalus, um, the uh, new mounted Legolas sculpt. Um, it's not that new anymore obviously but the one that came out um, last year and you saw him kind of um, mid mid paint job um, during my last hobby vlog and now he's completely finished. Um, I didn't really enjoy painting it, if I'm honest. I didn't uh, get a lot out of it. I'm not particularly, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, of the sculpt, but I want I got him because I very much wanted, you know, in a perfect world to be able to use him as the Megalus profile, so he actually had all Chris and that kind of thing, um, so that you're using the right model. And from a completion point of view, I suppose it's nice to have him. I prefer the other uh, Legolas model, but obviously, as uh, viewers of the Plenty may have been uh, may have seen. Uh, this profile, um, at least, is no longer going to be in the game as of the new book, uh, leading me to have some strong feelings about that. But in all seriousness, I don't really care. I, I don't um, particularly miss him from the game, but it's nice to have an alternate Legolas. So, um, I can't really remember how I painted Legolas because it was so long ago. Um, I'd, I'd, he was basically finished when I started painting again a couple of weeks ago. Um, just a section of greens and stuff. The horse though, and I'm going to show you something else in a minute which um, kind of furthers this, is an interesting new concept for me because what I did was I, I had a go at painting um, white horses a slightly different way which was to basically start from a base of Rakarth flesh and then basically mix in some Gawthor brown into that, paint that into the shadows, then mix in some pallid witch flesh 
into the um, Ricard flesh and highlight up and then shade and highlight up and um, it took a long time but I was basically just kept adding um, shading layers and then adding a highlight layer to kind of hopefully give the kind of skin tones a lot of depth I think you can see it kind of in here where it, um, I think it works quite well it doesn't you know it, it looks shaded rather than looking like a dark part of a horse and a light part of a horse and I basically just added more pallid witch flesh into um, every highlight layer to get it lighter and lighter but um yeah as I, said, I didn't really enjoy it I don't think it's a particularly fantastic um, sculpt I didn't get a lot out of it and it very much felt like kind of finishing off um, something for the sake of it almost for a uh, you know, doing it for the sake of last year and finishing off my Mirkwood Elf Army rather than because I really wanted to get him painted but um, he, yeah, he, he's alright, he's not bad and he was done and once uh, once he was done I actually painted up some guys to go with him which are these two which are two Mirkwood Knights which were painted on um, kind of similar reasons but um, you know, I had the models of trying to finish off this Mirkwood Elf Army of mine, and um, I wanted to get them done from, um, you know, com for the sake of completion, as it were. But also, um, you don't really see a lot of these guys. I know it's because they're at the moment their profile is not particularly competitive. But um, I've never, in all the tournaments I've been to, I've never seen these guys on the table. I've never seen anyone use them. So I was quite keen to get them, um, get them painted up so I could get them onto the tabletop. Um, the elves themselves were just um, painted in my uh, tried and tested Mirkwood Elf scheme. So if you haven't been following these videos, if you want to know how I painted these elves, like the red and the gold, you can go and um, check out a old hobby vlog of mine. It's called Stage by Stage Mirkwood Elf Painting, I believe, and that'll take you through all the colours for that. And so that, the main difference then was just the horses, which was done in exactly the same way as I just did for Legolas. They, were, I think Legolas was the third horse I painted. I did these before, so you can see how the the highlights on this one are a bit maybe um, harsher. There's a, quite a long dark line there down the neck, which I'd probably um, redo now, but I can't be bothered. Um, they were kind of like the test models for um, Leggy's horse. So the same technique of using red calf flesh as the base colour before um, adding shading in and then adding highlighting and adding shading and so forth. So um, I think they came out well. I like the horses are really really nice horses on these actually. Really um, really nice models. Really nice details, particularly on the heads. Um, I think they came out alright. Again, I didn't enjoy painting them. Um, then, as anyone who followed these will know, the, um, the Mirkwood Elves take a long time the way I paint them. Um, and these are no exception, particularly with all the red robes, because as you see on these, there's a lot more red on the on the knights than there is on the um, foot warriors, because of the way the cloaks are billowing. But um, I got them done, and um, I th I'm fairly happy with them. I think, I think they came out alright, and they look cool. And I haven't I haven't used them in a game yet, but I am keen to um, drop them into my um, uh, army next time I use them. I'm also particularly excited because the rumours that came out of the uh, Warham uh, what's it called uh, Black Library Open Day, not Black Library um, Forge World Open Day, were that um, in the new book these are going to be heavy armour, which makes them defence five, and they'll be able to have shields, which makes them defence six. So suddenly then these guys um, I actually think become pretty effective. So having kind of defence six knights in the Mercury Elf Army might be um, quite cool. I will never... I had I had ideas for a while about buying another four and painting up six. I won't do that because I don't need them on the table and I'm never, if I buy another four I will never ever paint them. Um, so I'm just going to be honest with myself about that and not bother getting them. Um, they were horrible models to clean up because of all the fine ghasts. I'm sure I mentioned that about a year ago when I first cleaned them up. A fun fact about these guys, all three of these models actually, is that they were in my um, hobby blog in issue 2 of SBG. So if we, uh, if we have a look at this, this is uh, issue 2, and way back when, this was, uh, when was this, uh, spring 2015, we launched this in April didn't we, we launched this Desolation Stop Horse, so April 2015. These were the next models I was going to do. So Mounted Thranduil, Leggy, and um, these two Mercury Knights. It says here, uh, next up, you going to focus? Next up are two Mercury Knights, Legolas and Thranduil. Um, and they were going to be the thing I was doing. So bear in mind, this came out in April. I probably wrote that around February time. Um, so that was February 2015. Um, these guys were going to be the next thing I did. And I actually finished them... Um, or are we August 2016? So uh, there you go. There's the 
crazy life of a hobbyist that of, of, is often the way. Um, they've been on the to-do pile for a very, very long, um, long time. But I think they came out right. I think they look pretty cool. I think they had some. Um, it'd be nice to have some kind of more mounted models in. And just to complete this set, why don't we get Threndy out? So there we go. There's that mounted contingent from SPG issue two, which is finally complete. That's kind of fun. Small, small goals, isn't it? I think they look pretty cool. It'd be good to get them on the table, and um, they get a little boost if Thrandall's within three inches or six inches or something like that. I think they become uh, in range of banner, don't they? So um, I think it'll be interesting to try them out and see how good they are on the table. So there's my little mounted contingent for my Merkwood army. So my Merkwood army is ever so slightly nearer to completion. I now have only um, Megalus on foot and the new Tariel to do. Um, of the stuff I wanted to get done and um, to complete this force. They're not actually going to be the next thing I do, they're getting bumped a little bit further. I've got a whole bunch of new models I'm going to be starting on next week that I will be um, talking you through in my next hobby vlog when I'll hopefully um, have some more progress on that. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, return from me um, on the hobby vlog front and that's given you some idea of what I've done. These are the models I've painted in the last six months. Isn't that spectacularly um, awful? Um, but um, yeah, hopefully I'll be getting a bit more done um, soon and um, a few more regular updates. So yeah, um, let me know what you think in the comments below as ever. And as ever, don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Um, support your hobby host by clicking the links below. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Support your hobby hobby and happy strategy battle gaming.